the cabbage juice indicator one is kind of one of the ones I've always enjoyed because it's something you can do at home and you can actually do it with your kids and I know if other people that have seen it told me they've done this particular demonstration at home with their kids because it uses all items that you can find around the home and the cabbage you know you buy in the store and bring it home and the thing I really like about this one is early on when I heard about this demo or saw it being done was people talking about the pain it was the time it took to boil the cabbage to create the indicator I thought, well, yeah, if you make up that indicator solution, then you're going to have that for a while. But in checking into that, that indicator doesn't stay well, doesn't have a good shelf life. If you refrigerate it, that helps, but it's still going to break down. So I always like things that are readily available that you can just grab and go with and make it up and do it. And this is the case. You just have to go to the store to get the red cabbage, but you're set to go and uh, throw it in a blender. And that pulls the dye, the necessary chemical component of the um, red cabbage that's used as an indicator here right out by blending it and then quick strain it as you see done in the video and you're ready to go and uh, you can make up tons of that indicator solution and as you see there I've, I think I used an eighth of a cabbage head maybe even less than that whole cabbage head you can make gallons of that indicator with and uh, don't have the aroma of boiled cabbage around for days either. <clears throat> You can use all sorts of things, and that's where at home it can be fun. It can be a, a bit of a scavenger hunt. What chemicals do you have around the house that you can add to the indicator solution and see how they perform and behave? We just grabbed some common ones that you see there listed in that. But there's a whole variety of things that you can use and test out. <coughs> some of them give you kind of interesting results in the fact that one of them you see, the color disappears and what happens there and what's going on in some of the chemistry that you can talk about there and explaining uh, sodium hypochlorite and what it does to things and how it influences them. Um, the nice thing is all of those things are uh, sink disposable the cabbage juice or you can sink dispose the cabbage that you're done with you know you can just throw out it's uh, biodegradable so it works out well that way for a home project or things that way and then in the lab works out well that all I have to do is go pick up the cabbage and we're ready to do that demo at any time. The reason cabbage juice works well as an indicator is the chemicals that are involved in the coloration of that particular item are sensitive to acids and bases and a good indicator is going to be sensitive across the whole range of the pH scale from basically 1 to 13 or 14. Uh, cabbage juice indicator tends to be pretty good that way although it favors the basic end because you get a little more color spread as you go that way. When you're in the acid range the pink color tends to stay pink and not change a whole lot where true acid is going to oftentimes in a universal indicator be a red color. So the, the influence of the chemicals influences the indicator to be a different color based on how strong a base or how strong an acid it is and that's why you see the different colors presented there. The question would be asked why does the bleach, the sodium hypochlorite solution end up with no color? Well bleach is really a really strong base and because it's so strong it actually destroys the indicator and therefore it doesn't present any color and so you can have that happen certain things are strong enough that the indicator can't survive in the environment created by the chemical and so it breaks it down and so that's what's happening with the bleach and we find that happening in the whole bleaching process and part of the reason it's given a name because it takes away the color it, it destroys it or breaks it down and, and that's what happens to the indicator there